హలో కైస్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు పైథన్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ట్యూటోరియల్స్ బై అమల్స్ అకాడమీ అండ్ టుడే ఇన్ దిస్ ట్యూటోరియల్ వీ ఆర్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ అ ప్రోగ్రామ్ హియర్ వీఆర్ ట్రైంగ్ టు ఫైండ్ అవుట్ ది నంబర్ ఆఫ్ ఓవెల్స్ ఇన్ అ సెంటెన్స్ ఓకే సో ఫర్ దాట్ ఇన్ అ పైథన్ ఫైల్ ఐ ఆస్క్ ది యూజర్ టు ఎంటర్ అ సెంటెన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఐ టేక్ అ వేరియబుల్ కాల్ సెంటెన్స్ and i'll take input function to take input from the user and this is the message so here i'm not converting this input function to int because here we want an string input right that's why i'll just take input because in python 3 by default this input function will take input as string and here we want string input right so next what i'll do is i'll convert the input to lower case letter if you want you can convert it to upper case letter also because there are five vowels in english language right a e i o u and we can write it in lower case as well as upper case so while writing the program we need to include lower case as well as upper case so avoid that what i will do is first when we take input i will convert it to lower case letter so then i can condition only for the lower case ovals right so here i'll take a variable called string and i'll take sentence dot lower this will convert the entered string to lower case letter so if you want you can check that if i print string here so control s if i enter okay it contains both lower case as well as upper case letters if i enter here we can see it will convert that to lower case letter so next here i'll take another variable called count and i'll initialize it to zero because it will contains the number of ovals so initially i'll take it as zero so next here i'll take a list which will contain the ovals a e i o u because i converted this sentence or input to lower case letter so we can take only this five no need of taking the upper case letters so now i'll take a for loop for char it is the variable name in string because we took the input and we stored in that in the sentence variable and in the next line we converted it to lower case letter and that will be stored in this string variable that's why here i took string that is nothing but i need to go through each character of this string entered sentence okay if condition char in list 1 this if condition will compare the each character with the elements of this list 1 if it matches to any one of it then that means that is o well so i'll increment count by 1 else i won't do anything i'll come out of the for loop and i'll print number of ovals in given sentence is count okay so now if we save this and run this so i need to enter a sentence so so this will be the converted string all the characters are converted to lower case and it contains total 12 ovals we'll check that here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 total 12 ovals are there in this sentence so here this for loop will go through each character of entered sentence and here this if condition will check whether that character is in list 1 if yes then it will increment the count so for example here i'll take an example i'll take the sentence as welcome okay so first it will convert it to lower case letter so here we can see all the characters are in lower case next it will print the string count is 0 list 1 is this next here for char in string so first char value will be w 
so it will check whether w is in list one so no so it won't execute this it will again execute the for loop now car becomes e okay so it will check whether e in list one yes it is there right so count will be incremented by one okay again it will go to the for loop and now car value will be l so it will check whether l is present in list one no so it won't execute if body it will go to the for loop so in that way it will execute this program so that's about this program and this program can be written in different ways okay so if you know any other ways any shorter ways or better ways then don't forget to comment below so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care